What's up guys, my name is Alyssa. I am a certified personal trainer. I'm working with True Meta to create this video for you guys today. I'm drinking my True Meta mushroom coffee, obviously. So today's video is about how to improve physical performance. So as you can see, I'm in my house today. Um, all of these things that I'm gonna talk about in this video are things that happen outside of the gym. It's not about necessarily lifting heavier weights, progressive overload, whatever. This is the building blocks for your performance in the gym, what you can do outside of it. So first things first is nutrition. Nutrition is obviously incredibly important. We want to not only make sure we're getting enough calories to support our life, living, our digestion, our sleep, everything, but we're getting enough calories to support our activity um, that we're adding on top of that. So carbohydrates are super important. Carbohydrates are where your body essentially goes first for quick energy. Um, they are the first source of energy for your brain and your red blood cells. So carbohydrates are very, very important. You can get really great carbohydrates through fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts, seeds, grains, all of that good stuff. Secondly, under that nutrition umbrella is getting enough protein. This is something that's huge. I think a lot of us have kind of had a light bulb moment with protein and have been working towards meeting our goals in protein um, more in the past couple years, I feel like in the fitness industry, especially online with all the content and stuff. So why protein is so important is because proteins are made up of amino acids. Amino acids are essentially the building blocks to our muscles. So getting enough protein to support everything that we're doing, if we're lifting, um, especially if we have goals of building muscle, we need enough protein to support that during the day. So some good sources of protein that you can lean on are gonna be meat, fish, eggs, milk, Greek yogurt, and then of course, if you wanna add in a supplement, um, a perfect supplement is a protein powder. This is the Trumetta bone broth protein in chocolate. It's my favorite. So where something lacks in your diet, you can add it with supplements. You can literally, that's what it means, supplement into your diet what you're not getting through food. So second on the big list of things that we can do outside of the gym is gonna be water intake. Water intake is so important for our function, our bodily function during the day. So staying hydrated, especially if you're a gym goer, a couple days a week, every day, whatever your routine is, is very, very important because we wanna replenish the fluids that we've lost through sweating. We want to not only do that, but we want to keep our kidneys nice and healthy in the filtering out of all the nasty stuff. So the US National Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine suggests that the daily intake for men should be 3.7, somewhere in there, liters of water a day. For women, about 2.7 liters of water a day. Most likely because the smaller bodies, women are a little bit smaller, we need a little bit less, but just in general, that's the suggestion. So number three is going to be sleep. This one is super crucial. I personally do not subscribe to the whole like sleep when I'm dead, gotta grind 24 seven kind of, kind of motto in life. So sleep eight to 10 hours ideally, if you can, is going to be where you're gonna find the most recovery for your muscles. You're gonna feel the best. Um, so setting a nice environment before you go to sleep, letting essentially letting your brain know that when I go in the bedroom, it's time to go to sleep. So things that really help me are some ambient light, some red light. Um, blackout curtains are really important. Uh, rain sound, sleep mask, whatever you need to do. Warm milk, whatever, whatever you need to do before you go to bed um, to make sure that you are setting the tone and being intentional for your sleep. So there are crucial processes that happen in the body when we are asleep specifically. The body uses that time to do these things. And if we cut that short, obviously those processes cut short. These things include balancing blood sugar, which obviously inhibits or helps weight management. Um, the second thing is muscle protein synthesis. This happens the most when we are asleep. 
okay, the breaking down and the creating of new muscle fibers and repairing the muscles that we just broke down in the gym. Um, that happens through obviously food, but also happens the most when we sleep. And obviously another really important thing with sleep is your cognitive function, your mood. So if you're pissed off all the time, that's no good. Your cognitive function and your memory are gonna be affected by lack of sleep. And lastly, this is something that is so huge that I personally talk to my clients about a lot. That's when you're first starting in the gym, um, can be really hard to wrap your head around because you wanna go, go, go. You feel like you're lazy if you take a day off or rest, but taking rest days are so important. So there has to be kind of a yin and yang relationship, so to speak, with your training and your rest. As long as you are training with intention in the gym, um, you should be resting with intention as well.